Welcome to MMA Insider. In today's video, we bring you an exciting lineup of headlines that are sure to grab your attention. Starting off, John Jones has directly inserted himself into a back and forth between Tyson Fury and Joe Rogan. Moving on, Eddie Hearn explains why Anthony Joshua is not interested in fighting Francis. Additionally, Darren Till launches Guerrilla Fight Club with South African politician Dudu Zain Zuma. Lastly, Brendan Schaub questions if Francis and Ganu signing is a great deal for the PFL. So sit back, relax, and get ready to dive deep into the latest happenings in the MMA world. UFC heavyweight champion John Jones has directly inserted himself into a back and forth between Tyson Fury and Joe Rogan. Jones took to Instagram and posted a video in which he sarcastically commented on a potential bout with Fury. Oh boy, Tyson Fury out there claiming he gonna beat me up. I better back off. Plenty of names have been thrown out there as potential boxing opponents for Francis Ngannou. Unsurprisingly though, the big three are Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, and Tyson Fury. Joshua in particular is a name that's been thrown around a lot lately. In the eyes of Eddie Hearn though, we're unlikely to see it go down anytime soon. This is what he said. I spoke to Anthony Joshua about the fight. He likes it and he gets it, but he's very focused on his boxing career at the moment, and he doesn't want to derail that to do something a little bit gimmicky. Even though it is dangerous, he wants to prepare for Deontay Wilder, and I think he doesn't feel that Ngannou would prepare him for Deontay Wilder. Former UFC title challenger Darren Till is now in the fight promoter space. Till has partnered with South African businessman and politician Duduzani Zuma to launch Guerrilla Fight Club. Zuma discussed the promotion during an interview with Times Live. This is what he said. This is a brand new concept combining both sport and entertainment while bringing together many popular global stars with huge followings from across a variety of industries. In recent years, we have seen various external figures move into the world of boxing and there is no doubting the effect it can have globally and the huge numbers it attracts. Darren Till also commented on his new fight promotion venture. This is what he said. This is a very exciting project and having been in and around combat sports for the majority of my life, I'm fully confident Guerrilla Fight Club will change the face of the industry. The launch ensures fight fans around the world can now look forward to a series of groundbreaking events which will shock and excite in equal measure. Our aim is to grow the brand on a global level and with a highly experienced and skilled team on board, everything is in place for us to make it a major success. As most of us know, Francis Ngannou has officially signed with PFL. While some of the reactions from fans were mixed, a lot of fighters came out to voice their support for Francis. In addition to fighting for PFL, he'll also be allowed to venture into the boxing ring. It's a deal that could shake the very foundation of mixed martial arts as we know it. Still, even with it being such a big moment, there are always going to be those who have doubts. That includes Brendan Schaub. In a recent reaction, he let the world know what he thought about Ngannou's switch. This is what he said. It's a long time coming. Shout out to Francis Ngannou. He said what he was going to do. He set out what he was going to do. He got a lot of hate, a lot of pushback. His agent, uh, Markel, and him got it done. Don't forget Markel. He was a big advocate getting Francis to kind of go on this path that hasn't been done before. Shouts out to them. Francis, Markel, uh, the PFL for taking a chance on Francis. All of it's all good. Biggest contract guarantees his opponents a $2 million. He gets a portion of the gate, pay-per-view percentage, guaranteed money. It's completely game-changing for the sport MM MMA. It's huge. It's massive. This is all good. My question is not with Francis. We know Francis got a great deal, so hats off to Francis. The question is, is it a great deal for the PFL? History would say no. The leagues that throw all this money at the fighters, Affliction, other leagues, they're not around anymore. I don't know if you can sustain a business model giving Francis all this money, all this power. I don't know if it's capable. I hope it is. I hope it works out. It'll change the game forever. That's it for today's edition of MMA Insider. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of the latest news and updates in the world of mixed martial arts. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more daily MMA content. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video from us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.